And, you know, that's at those ridges. You can't really siege against those unless you have spotters. And now Hyde is actually move out. SCV's first track is blockers. Hwasan pulling his own SCVs off the line. Hyde actually moving in to try to attack with his own siege tanks. Hwasan has siege tank on the ridges. And now his defensive posture doesn't have as many units. Some SCVs actually get very close, but not meant to do too much. Now Goliath moving in with the barracks to spot to try to take out the tank out of ridge. Hwasan now could be in a pretty bad position. He doesn't have as many defensive force, but reinforcements should be coming in fairly soon. Now dropship in play. Dropship going to see what they actually try to move in very close. Hyde has a few forces split up at different ends. Loses Hwasan loses the force uh, the tank had at the ridge, but he has his drop chips. He's still repairing those. He's reinforcing very quick with those. And I believe Hwasan's base at the nine o'clock still hasn't been spotted. He's just mining gas from that. Uh, has a, a couple of idle CVs there, but now has fixed that position. But still doing a pretty good job of holding off. Haya still has no idea that Hwasan has the nine o'clock. And Hwasan, of course, has been economically ahead the entire time. Now, as soon as he fully gets that nine o'clock base active. Uh, gets that mineral line mining as well. He will be able to take very big advantage. Hyatt just now activating his mineral only at the lower left. Pressing very hard on Hwasan now. Uh, that <laughs> uh, spotting barracks being attacked by Wraith. Of course, nothing really... Was, it, it, unless that Wraith moves in very close as it did right there. Gonna get a couple of shots at it before it flies back. But Hyatt trying to reinforce his surround that is trying to do his contain. Killing tanks on the ridges. Very small, using scans very smallly to kill tanks and ridges just to make sure that Kwasi cannot push out. Haya, I think he's just waiting for some reinforcement troops. He needs, he can't just have siege tanks. He needs a couple of forces to help alongside on the ground. A couple more Goliaths would help. Even a few SCVs would really help out, as he did in his initial attack to act as part. Another he's going to take out one siege tank that was defenseless. No Goliaths in the, they're protected. Now really what's helping Kwasi out, he has three drop ships on the field, which means as soon as he decides to, he can actually use those in a very good defensive posture reinforce even quicker now the spotting barracks moving high actually deciding to move in for full full on attack is going to lose his spotting racks and actually loses a few forces losing his racks and now he doesn't have any spotters unless he moves some forces into right now he more <laughs> tanks moving in to help support and actually Hwasan going to lose his right trying to move some drops his forward but far too many Goliaths on the ground and actually now Haya is going to penetrate the position Hwasan now going to be in a lot of danger Goliaths coming in very very close Hwasan adding even more factories trying to reinforce some forces does not really much in the way of helping him he's got a lot of Goliaths down the field but they're very <laughs> very siegeable they're not going to be able to run and kill a lot he's going to be forced to pull his SCVs off the line inside of his natural expansion and just as those Goliaths have been waiting for more tanks, is going to probably, yes, most likely is going to lose that CC. He floats it up, but the Goliaths should be able to take it down with their Charon Boosters. And Hwasen, apparently thinking of going for, okay, he went to do something with Drop Series, and actually decides to fly those right into the troops that High has. He's going to try to clear this up. More SCVs and tanks come in for Haya, moving in with Drop Chips as well, just in time. Clear up everything Hwasen has. Hwasen now in terrible position, moving a couple of SCVs to try to take some shots, try to delay Haya from moving up his ramp he's gonna CJ and ram again can him go for an attack with his drop ships there are no Goliaths on the field for higher so we can see I actually try to drop some forces I just don't think Quasin really has in the way much in the way of that high at this point only has three tanks to do two tanks I correct myself to attack so Quasin is gonna be able to hold off an attack on his main but still in a terrible position does have a nine o'clock base mining but has lost his natural expansion trying to establish I believe a mineral only up the upper left and his nine o'clock gets spotted Goliaths move towards the nine o'clock Quasin has nothing to help reinforce no drops is moving in he really is gonna need to do something to help him because he had these drop ships are on the way but he's gonna lose so many SCVs in the meantime those three Goliaths are gonna be able to bring hell to that position he has established a mineral only at the upper left but still a horrible position high also re-establishing yet another mineral only at the lower left hand position there's also that double Gas, I believe, very close to that position that should be able to take down to help himself. Uh, I'm not actually sure if that's a mineral only. There might actually be a gas in the roll of the position, but never mind. Hwasen, oh man, he's not in a good position. Decimated. No mining going on there. I'm not sure if he managed to save any SCVs or not to pull them off the line away out of harm's way. But in a horrible position at this point, his economic early economic advantage just didn't give him enough troops enough and just didn't manage to defend himself against the constant pressure that Haya was building is now going to reestablish his natural expansion. He apparently had a building a CV that he was ready to float away. But still a horrible, horrible position. Haya now also has a lot of drops on the field. Scans going off. There were spotted dropships moving out. And Hwasan <laughs> instantly decides to cancel whatever it is that he was doing. Probably expecting forces to come barreling down, which they are actually not. Haya now again going to move forces towards the 9 o'clock position. Knows that he should be able to harass. There's nothing but three sep uh, separated siege tanks and a Goliath to help defend. Haya with far too many forces and Hwasin gonna get his 9 o'clock decimated yet again. Haya playing a great game of StarCraft here. 
so far. Hwasen doesn't have an answer to this. Actually moving his dropships and a counterattack at the lower left. There's a random turret speed build everywhere by Hyde to catch these dropships. Higher plating pinpoint going to get caught by some turrets. They're almost losing one of his dropships. There's another shot at the dropship. It's going to be horrible. There are Goliaths on the field. Oh, but they don't catch the right dropship. So now Hwasen desperate to go out in the field and do some sort of damage. Do some sort of counterattack. Now we're going to see what actually decides that the lower left hand will be the answer to that has completely lost his 9 o'clock position, the, the CC including, I believe. Um, not even sure if he really, fo he might have actually floated away, but I'm not so sure. Actually going to start off by putting all of his tanks and several of his Goliaths on the ridge just outside of Hyas expansion. Has a couple of Goliaths there to help support. Going to use those, possibly going to use the dropship to actually act as spotters. Move some of them back as soon as he thinks maybe the, something coming his way. Now Hyas actually moving three dropships towards the north position to start <laughs> harassing that as well. And Kwasan desperate to do some sort of economic advantage. Get some, one of his dropships almost killed. Never mind, killed to act as a spotter and now high attacking the 12 o'clock that high, oh the 12 o'clock bases that Hwasen is th Hwasen's thinking of putting up but he's in a horrible position now trying to do some counter damage to attack this natural expansion not being too successful now is Goliaths killing his mineral onlys dropships moving in again for Hwasen I'm not really sure what we can do he has to do some economic advantage actually has tanks sieging on the ground just outside the natural expansion so he's thinking of going for it it's going to force Haya to do a lot of repairing scan going off so Haya is going to be forced to float his CC away out of his natural expansion but now Hwasen is going to lose his CC at the 12 o'clock position and he's got nothing but his men in natural expansion at this point to mine Haya instantly has reinforcements coming in to do whatever you might need to do is building bases all over the place not really a lot of mining going from all of them but still trying to do a lot to really get his economy going and up he's gonna lose one of his dropships on the way out of his natural expansion possibly trying to go for a counter-attack but Hwasen actually has a pretty decent contain so far um, where he doesn't really have a lot of troops in the way on his own building so he's not gonna re really be able to reinforce not gonna have nearly enough economically and just trying to put on the pressure but I'm not sure really if this is gonna help him out or not because High is honestly just building base all over the place. CC trying to be forward, uh, think towards the 9 o'clock position yet again by Hwasim. There was a CC, uh, <coughs> SCV there. So, okay, the CC is gonna land. I'm still just high at so many bases at this point. Has his natural, has his main, has both the bases at the 7 o'clock. Okay, the 6 to 7 o'clock and the 7 o'clock. And Hwasim trying to reestablish his 9 o'clock, firing some ACV towards that position. He really needs another base to take down. He really needs to clear out the forces of highs. He's not going to be able to do so much in the way of dropships. He's actually going to go for the mineral on the far lower left. He's going to be able to siege up, not taking out as many SCVs as he would have wanted, really. But still going to be able to do some damage. Take out some turrets there, possibly so he can move in with reinforcements with dropships. So Haya instantly has dropships of his own moving in. Very close to this position. Should be able to drop right on top of those. Hwasim has to very na really quickly now be careful against those dropships. I'm not sure if he has much enough in the way of Goliath. Hwasen actually not going to drop right in the middle of forces of Hwasen that he has at the total left hand position. But I still believe despite uh, Haya losing this base, he didn't lose his CC, didn't lose that many SCVs, so he's still pretty good. A delay for Haya at this point is not so bad compared to a delay for Hwasen. Hwasen is much worse off economically and now I need a little bit of a sip. I need a bit of a sip just as Hwasen is going to go with yet more siege tanks at the right hand position there at a 4 o'clock base that Haya had up. So Haya has bases all over the place. Now can actually go for the 9 o'clock position. Not really seeing that many defensive forces. I think Hwasen might have actually taken some of his forces away for def for offensive purposes and now going to be forced to move several back to help defend this. Moving his SCVs off the line. His aggressive action trying to save his CC there. But high even more dropship faring all over the place. So Hwasen is actually going to clean up. He's going to be repairing his CC there. So the horrible position, there are dropships at the north, which Hwasen knows are there, and is preparing, he has several Goliaths on the way, we're going to see what they actually managed to meet the dropship, dropship going to fly, trying to come in at the angle of the left side, Hwasen not quite ready for this, dropship not going to be able to get by, Hwasen with no reaction whatsoever, the drop comes back, the oh man, Hwasen's going to be a lot of trouble, again going to be forced to move his SCVs off the line, his command center yet again in trouble, 9 o'clock base being completely shelled, and is actually going to go down, not even going to be, okay, going to be floated up, uh, no, no Goliaths in range for Haya, so Hwasen might actually save it. More dropships now on the way. He has no mining at the main at this point. No minerals. Still mining minerals from his natural expansion. He still has, uh, has established the 3 o'clock base over here. 
which is a mineral only, but, you know, I'm not really sure at this point what he what he could be starving for. Is he more starving for minerals or is he more starving for gas? I think he's starving for resources all over the place. Well, Haya seems to have them in abundance. Not really sure what he's using them on. He might be collecting a decently sizable force just because he has a huge amount of base. He doesn't have... I can't really see him having that many gases because this... Uh, this map is not too huge gas heavy. You got the mains, you got the naturals, then you got the double gases at three different locations, and those are very critical and important to take, but I'm not really seeing the players really take them yet. Uh, could be missing something out, just, just can't spot in the minimap because the, uh, the commentators are simply not showing it. No action going out this very moment, but Kwasin is going to take the natural expansion 9 o'clock position, so he's going to try to fully take advantage of that. Not even sure if he's taking the main there or not. High now going to move around. 